Hey guys! So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you my December favorites. The first item that I want to share with you is an oldie, but it's a goodie. It's honestly something I've been using since I was probably a preteen, and I gravitate away from it because I want to try new things, and I want to try things that are supposed to be better for your skin, better for the environment, but honestly, a lot of these things, I find myself liking them because I like the idea of liking them, and not so much because I like the product itself. So the first item is actually this cocoa butter lotion. It's Something I've been using since I was a teenager, like I said, it's really, really good. Um, it really helps relieve like dry skin. It evens out my skin tone. I use this specifically just for my face, um, and the bottle's like pretty much almost empty, but I use it until the last drop because I love it that much. I find that when the weather gets colder, my skin gets a little drier. I usually have like oily combo skin, but I definitely have dry patches, especially in the winter time. So I find that this is really helpful for that reason. Now that we're talking about dry skin, I also have an obsession with chapstick. I do not like to have dry lips at all. And I usually use like a, a Caramex or a Blistex type of chapstick because it really works and they're like the best that's out there. Um, however, I wanted to try something that was a little less intense because I do kiss my daughter a lot, like all the time, and sometimes I wonder if me kissing her with those like harsh type of chopsticks is damaging on her skin, so it's really just like me being an overprotective mom and like not wanting to hurt her but still wanting to protect my lips, so I decided to try this Vaseline Lip Therapy. My niece actually um, were, was using this and I thought like, wow, Vaseline's really stepping up their game because the, the regular Vaseline chapsticks I didn't really like at all, which is why I would never use them, but this one's pretty cool. It's a little tinted, so it does give your lip a little bit of color um, or you can just like use it as a layer before you put on like some lipstick and your lips will stay moisturized. Um, but I just like this throughout the day. It smells really pretty, <laughs> which makes me a little happy. Um, and I know that when I'm putting this on and I want to kiss my daughter like all over her face I won't be you know irritating her skin or anything like that So that's another favorite. I've been using pretty much every day. The third item is um, <laughs> It's a beauty item and I don't actually wear a lot of makeup or wear makeup often in order for me to wear makeup I have to be going somewhere very you know special or it's like a get-together and I want to look a little more presentable than like my regular daily self um, but usually if I feel like getting a little dressy I guess with my makeup and like beauty I'll put on mascara during the day and that's pretty much it like mascara and chapstick that's like my top two beauty items that I like will always use no matter what um, but this mascara I actually found out about this mascara from Gay Babe TV she was using it and I really thought her lashes were pretty and I wanted my lashes to look pretty knowing that it doesn't really work like that but I wanted to try it out anyway so I got it um, and I hated it because the formula was like way too wet for my liking it kind of just like clumped my lashes together and I kind of like them to just be separated and a little elongated but this is the Super Sizer CoverGirl Mascara um, I'll link all the products in the description box in case it's not picking up on the camera or I'm moving too quickly and you can't really get an understanding of the product I'm talking about. But this one, it's pretty good. Like I said in the beginning, I didn't like it at all because it was just like too wet for me and it was like too clumpy and too messy and I didn't like it. But now, now that I've had this for a bit over a year, um, it's just, it works a lot better, I guess, because it's drier and this is honestly my go-to. Usually I gravitate to a high-end mascara because I feel like it really works well, but what I don't like about the high-end mascaras is that they're just too hard to remove and I just don't have time to remove makeup, which is why I don't wear it much because I don't like the process of taking it off. It just takes way too long, in my opinion, but... Again, this one has been my favorite this month. It'll probably be my favorite for a while until this is finished because I don't usually buy things until I'm completely over it or it's completely empty. So this is an, a really good one. And so the next item is pretty popular in any favorites video, but honestly, I am a candle person and I love to burn candles all throughout the year. However, 
we are in the month of December and this is something that I really really enjoy doing it just makes me happy and after I've cleaned the house it kind of just finishes off the house by making it smell even better than it does already now that it's clean or if we're having company over I really like to just light the candle that way when they come in it's a very welcoming pleasant scent and honestly I've had a lot of compliments over this item this month and it's the winter candy apple bath and body works candle it's really 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 good it smells amazing i have been burning it almost every day and i'm only like almost halfway there um so this is definitely gonna last me a while i actually bought two of them because this is my favorite winter smell but it smells so so good it kind of smells fruity but like a little bit minty and I don't know it just it smells really really good honestly if you guys have the chance this winter just head out and grab one yourself i know you will like it and i promise you everyone who smells this they are just in love with it and they really gravitate to um, wanting to get it themselves so this one is definitely a favorite that i just i really love and it makes me really happy and i find that Whenever you can find like little things throughout your house that can make you happy or that you really consider to be a favorite thing of yours, you should just hold on to it because why not be happy, right? So the last item is honestly something that you might find a little strange, but honestly, I really don't think it's that strange. It's my sweater. It's really warm and comfy. It has like this soft layer on the inside. My daughter really likes this one too because she likes soft like fuzzy materials it's like a comforting thing for her so whenever I'm wearing this and I hold her like she's just so calm and she sucks her thumb and she just like lays her head down and it just kind of melts my heart but either way like putting her aside it's definitely a favorite of mine because it's so comfy and the funny thing about this sweater is this is actually a maternity sweater that I bought when I was pregnant with my daughter um, and it's just something that I've held on to even though like you know, I've already had her and I've moved on from that pregnancy and all that. It's just so comfortable and a lot of people give me compliments on it when I wear it because it doesn't look like a maternity item um, and it's, it's just really comfortable. I really like it. So that's all for my favorites guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'll again link all the items down below just in case I went a little bit too quickly or didn't explain them as well or whatever the case may be it'll be down there for you to have access to it at a later time and if I can't find for example this item um, I'm sorry <laughs> again I bought it when I was pregnant over a year ago so um, this just might not be available but these are my monthly favorites I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one bye